Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Lisa Bonet and Jason Mimosa. Alright, let's get some energy for these guys. We have for Lisa, we have look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Okay, and let's see for Jason, we have you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Wow, and for the two of them, bring love into this situation. <laughs> wow, and I do believe that they were once married. I'm not sure if they actually got divorced or whatever, but we are going to do a reading nevertheless. Let's look into it. I'm going to do a cut cross, and we shall see what comes up for them. All right. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving dinner and everything for all you Canadians. I know that for the U.S. it's a little further um, down the road, I believe in November maybe. So I'm not sure for this year. It might be closer. Yeah, I think it is in November. So anyways, let's get going on this. The current energy between the two is that they're both working on some, uh, I feel like a, a venture that's going to help with their pentacles for each of them. What might be the fear here? What might be the fears for these two? Hmm. Looks like somebody is waiting for their ships to come in, so possibly kind of going day by day I kind of feel like about what might change in their situation what is some of the issues oh that one of them might give a pentacle to someone else what are the motivations between the two parties please what is the motivation here what is the motivation? Hmm. Manifestation. So our thoughts and our words can manifest um, what we want in our life or what we don't want in our life. So somebody's manifesting something here. What was in the recent past for them? We have Courage and Strength, and we have the King of Cups. And I'm only reading uprights, if you're wondering why I turned that card over. So, let's see. It looks like one of them is worried about the other one getting, falling in love with someone else, and moving away. Yeah, maybe one is a Capricorn, or... Maybe there's some toxic behavior behind this. Let's see, what's in the near future here? Near future? Yeah, they actually are going to work together. They have a family together, I believe. There's um, three people here, so maybe they have a child together or three children, maybe just two. Hmm. Teamwork cooperation when it comes to their family. I feel like they have a good family dynamic, whether they are together or if they aren't. What's the internal? Yeah, somebody did walk away from this relationship. What's the internal? Letting it go to God with judgment, making a judgment call when it comes to a cup of love. This might be about getting back together. What's the external? Defeat, feeling defeated in their effort to maybe win this person back or feeling that it's a lost cause possibly. What else with this five of swords? Yeah, somebody's just working, concentrating on work, hoping it might work out maybe. Yeah, it looks like there was a complete ending, maybe a divorce. Let's see. What don't they see coming? 
What don't they see coming? Mm, a tower moment. Something's here to shake shit up here. What is the tower? Oh, there might have been some shady behavior here. Um, possibly if they were trying to work it out. I don't feel that though with this world card here. I feel like that completely ended. But it might mean that one of them might have somebody in their life that is causing problems or is stepping out on someone here. What's the outcome here for them? What is the outcome for them? <laughs> uh, the Four of Wands. Now, that could mean moving, possibly moving or moving back in together, maybe trying to work this out, maybe getting married again, maybe having things change. Or it could be somebody's marrying someone else. So let's see what this is. What's the Four of Wands here? Mm. Taking a leap of faith. The new beginning here. Now whether that is with the two of them, let's see. What's the Fool and the Four of Wands? Uh, heartbreak. So it could be that somebody is moving on with someone else and it's causing a lot of heartbreak for the other person involved here when it comes to this new love. And that could be exactly maybe feeling betrayed that this person has moved on despite wanting to work it out. It's possible they meet somebody that really does it for them. You know? Yeah, but one of them is feeling this heartache and heartbreak here. So, hmm. I'm not so sure they're going to get back together. What is this Three of Swords here? Yeah, the Empress. This is something that is... Hmm. I want to get another card on this because the Empress is very loving, nurturing, um, giving birth to new ideas or even children. So what is this Three of Swords? Maybe somebody got pregnant from someone else. Oh boy. Yeah. We have three people here. Um, we have two other women. We have the Queen of Swords, which could be uh, Lisa Bonet not really being susceptible to having a reunion and another person involved here. And with the Empress, this could mean that this person is with a child. That could be why there is a new beginning here for someone and heartache for another. So, hmm. I'd like to find out about these three here and why this empress is here. We have this and a heartbreak as well. So, Let's just dive in a little bit deeper. Yeah, somebody is going to be happy here or is going to be happy for the other, although they're not gonna show this heartbreak. Could be that one of them is wanting to move on and now there's a child involved. Maybe Lisa is pregnant again? They might have, Jason may have a, a boy, a girlfriend, I mean, <laughs> sorry. And um, it could be that Lisa is pregnant here. But whatever the case, somebody's happy about this new beginning here. What's the crossroads here? Why is that here? Hmm feeling it's a little bit of a burden here. Well, a lot of a burden. It's ten of wands, so it's a heavy burden. So this could mean that it is somebody else that might be having a child or is claiming 
that they are pregnant by Jason. Let's see here. What's the Queen of Wands? Why is she here? What's the Queen of Wands? Hmm, she wants a victory here. What's the Queen of Cups? What is the Queen of Cups? Hmm. The Queen of Cups here has a Queen of Pentacles and a King of Swords as well here. This could be her family. Could be friends. What's the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords? Who are they? What is that? What's the King of Swords? It might be somebody that this Queen of Cups had relationship with at one point and they're now with somebody new. With the Knight of Wands. This might have been somebody that stepped out on this King of Swords with Jason. And it looks like this King of Swords may have <laughs> stepped out on this Queen of Pentacles. So with this Queen of Cups. So, hmm. Who is this Queen of Cups? What is this about here? It's very interesting. Hmm. She might end up left out in the cold here. Could maybe find out that this happened. Yeah, that this was a choice in love. Maybe this person chose someone else. Yeah, there's some regret here. Hmm. Why is the Empress here? Whoa. Ah. Yeah, there was competition here. So there may have been more than two other women here that were competing for Jason. Somebody got left out in the cold and one started a new passionate beginning with Jason. I feel it's this Empress that is this new beginning and this Queen of Cups was left out in the cold. She may have just been there for the money factor. What is the Six of Wands about? What is the victory about? What is the victory about? What is the victory? Oh, marriage. Huh. Hmm, let's just see here. <laughs> it's possible that Lisa wants to marry Jason once again, but there is a passionate new beginning here, or there was. He seems to be in a crossroads here, though, on who to choose. Somebody was a burden, and I feel it was that Queen of Cups. Too many people in the situation. <laughs> What's this Two of Swords about? Why is the Two of Swords here with the competition and the Ace of Wands? Mm, yeah, not sure which way to go. In his head, thinking about what it means, what he wants to have in his life. What's the Eight of Swords? Hmm, he wants to be happy here. What is the Three of Swords about then? Why is there heartache here? What is the heartache about? Taking their time maybe about this love offer with the Hangman and the Page of Cups. Maybe he's come to decide what he wants to do or what Lisa wants to do here. What is this Page of Cups and the Hangman? Mm. She looks like she's walking away from this. What's the sun about then? 
Yeah, she's good on her own and she's happy on her own or whoever she is with or whatever she's doing. She has the Nine of Pentacles, so she may... That is my single card, so she still may be single, but she's happy for Jason. And she may even want to get married one day, but I don't know if it, it will be with him again. What is the Hierophant here for? What is the Hierophant about? Yeah, a little bit of sadness about their marriage, possibly. Maybe sad that he's getting married to someone else or is with someone else. Yeah, there's some passionate news here or an idea of some sort here. What's this page of wands? Yeah, using her intuition, so... What's the High Priestess? That one wanted to come, yeah, juggled. She knew that there was other people involved here, and that may have been why she walked away for the second time or third, depending on how many times they've tried to get back together. Yeah, there might be somebody from her past that she is wanting to reconnect with. She's walking away from this past, maybe with Jason. There's an emperor here who's healing, who's hanging on to somebody, and there's justice involved here. There's going to be some scales that get balanced. It looks like there's a long-term situation that was missed when it came to love and moving forward with this love. Yeah, there's boundaries. There's, yeah, it's an ending. It looks like um, this won't happen for them. I don't see them getting back together. I feel like there's been too much done here when it comes to Lisa and Jason. Unless things change down the road and there's decisions that are made that changes the energy, this is what I'm picking up for right now. So... I guess that wraps that up. <laughs> so please like, share, and subscribe. Give me that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. And stay blessed, take care, and we'll see you next time. All right, later.